your interview. Hello, and welcome to the Apex. Good morning. Hi, Megan. Yes, Seth is a hero. The real the star of the show the is Megan O'Leavy. No, it's our audio team. Miles, Seth, Ryan, everybody is so great. Zach, like, I love them all so much, and we couldn't have a show without them. Hey, Megan. We love you. Hey, Megan, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, what are you thankful for on this Thanksgiving week? Oh, my gosh. That's um, well, a lot of things. My colleagues, my family, my health, um, uh, everything. Fantastic. Why? I look like uh, a giant. Like in Game of Thrones, I look like a giant right now. And I don't like it. You're not that small. Well, I mean, you're not tall, but... I mean, I'm only five feet tall, so... Hey, can I, I ask you Can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything. What do you think of the Carissa Thompson deal? Carissa's always been very nice to me. However, that is definitely not how we operate, and I think it does a disservice to a lot of us sideline reporters. Um, I'm so paranoid about even misquoting someone that I, as you see, I do my off-camera interviews by recording them with my phone, so I make sure I get exact quotes. Um, you never make up information, ever. If you don't have anything, you say the coach didn't want to talk, or you're just not on camera for that particular report. Um, I am such a stickler for facts, and it's, it, it hurts my heart to think that somebody has been elevated mm -hmm. so strongly based off of false work when so many people are working so hard and just to get an opportunity. So Here's what I think happened. As you know, some people are sideline reporters, and love that role, and that's what they want to do. And then other people want a different role, but sideline reporter is the way to get there. Yeah. Is that fair to say? That's very fair to say, and I know exactly what you're saying with that. Um, and I think you're still trying to do the best with whatever role you are handed, and yes. you still have to have journalistic integrity. Mm -hmm. um, and I know people say like, oh, that doesn't exist in sports. It does, you don't make up facts. You only speak to people, you only speak on things that are real and people have said or done you know, in your presence, you can't, you can't lie. You cannot lie. Yes, yes. <laughs> like it's, it's whatever your goals are. You cannot, yes. you just can't do it. There's ways around it. One would say, tell the producer, I don't have anything. Which happens, which right. happens. Right. I've, I mean, I've had experiences and I do, you know, very few games a year, but I've had experiences where one time a coach was yelling at the officials and that meant I missed my window because yeah. he was in an argument. And so I said, hey, he was arguing with officials about this call. Yes. And that's it. Yes. Uh, thanks for doing this uh, yeah. interview. I can't wait to do a real episode. Of your How podcast. do you, oh, you'll get you back on the podcast. Yeah. How do you like my selfie stick? I actually love it. And I love your very professional microphone. Yeah. So uh, like I don't know if I'm really? back in the content game or not because I don't want I don't, I don't know if I like being a 41 year old man walking around with a selfie stick oh, but like this it. is where we're at in 2023 no, I like it we're in Las Vegas so it's also not weird there's right. a lot of people with these yes. you know what I mean yeah it's true maybe just film more on the strip and you'll you'll feel more comfortable okay we'll right make there. that happen Megan O'Leavy thank you all right now go back to Seth because he's the best <laughs> Seth and audio love you. hello <laughs>